What's up guys, Moment Jr. here, and we're back at Tables and Towers again for our second tournament. We're playing Dry Trots. We're gonna have fun. Another OTS pack. Let's see what we get, shall we? Maybe we get a Dry Trot. Maybe we get something good. All right, Cybersaurus, Starter's Flash, and ah, Tokian Stampede. Nothing this time. But we were able to pick up uh, two arriving lights, two Starters Illuminate. We have all the commons we need. Um, we got Chaos Space for our really crazy ritual deck that we want to play. Um, we got some Magic Keys because that's going to be useful later on. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, people who are pretty cool. Got a bunch of stuff um, that I needed for other decks as well. King of Skull Serpents, eventually. Um, so we're going to have fun. Um, hopefully we're able to, you know, go a few rounds um, and win. Hopefully you win the thing. Uh, it sounds pretty fun, but I know a lot of people here are playing Drytrons, Tri Brigade, um, what else? They're playing Matter. So we have to try our best to go against Matter, even though we haven't really played against it. So we're going to have to really figure it out. So we have until 1 o'clock, maybe about another half hour to go, to see what we can do, plan ahead. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys up when I get more cards or the... Or when round one ends, all right? Let's go. Random box opening! So, one of the guys at my locals decided to buy a box of Donda matches. And you know, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh channel, so I just asked him if it was okay to record. And he's like, yeah, sure, go ahead. So, right off the bat, he was able to get started to eliminate a card we needed. And um, for the rest of the video, he um, really sped through the pack opening, or the box opening, which is really good for me because I didn't want to make it too long. And um, he got exactly the cards he needed. Um, he got one of the cards I needed, but I felt bad because, you know, it's only like a $5 card. So, um, with the rest of the video, you'll see that he got a Riven Light, and he got the Despia Alder, Alster. Oh, the secrets are right next to each other. That's insane. They're always on the right side for some reason. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the pack, the box opening is basically done. Uh, he didn't get really any other, I think he got a B Trooper card, um, as the other Ultra, I'm not so sure. But yeah, so let's look through the video and see what's going on. Alright guys, what's up? We just ended round two, so I didn't give any updates on round one. Um, we're able to pick up a bunch of cards, got some Despia cards. The secret's gonna be hard to get. Um, but I did lose round one. What did I lose to? I lost the Prank Kids. Um, not a very good match. I didn't really think about the matchup at all. Um, so that was round one. Round two, I played um, like a... What did I play? Uh, just a deck that was thrown together. He was giving it. So we won round two. We lost round one. So we're at 1-1. One, one. We did... Um, we were able to trade for Stardust Synchron. So we have one. Um... One star to Synchron, uh, two Majestic Stars, two Arriving in Light. We got the rest of the other smaller cards, but we need two more of these and um, one, at least one Synchro Overtake, but no one seems to have it, which sucks. So we're going to see what happens. This is pretty cool. It looks so nice. And the people I actually got this from got a Starlight Majestic shooting star dragon so good times all around it was great i'll update you next round see what happens and let's go from there what's up guys moon Jerry's here and round three i played against who was it uh numeron network um i feel bad because he bricked three numeron networks in his opening hand so yeah i feel kind of bad um then uh, I won that 2 0. Round 4, 1 2 0. I played against uh, Shadal Despia. I feel bad because I kind of won with Just Dragoon both games. Um, but yeah, so um, I was at table 2. I think I'm at table 1 now. I don't know. Um, it's only a four round tournament, um, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, Despia's, I don't really know how to play against the deck. I just know that they search a lot, so Dual Lockbird works. Uh, we haven't gotten any more cards for the Stardust deck, uh, but we still need at least one. We don't really, really need a Synchron Overtake for the deck. It would be nice to have, but we don't need it. 
and we need one to two more starter synchrons. So we're doing good. And we're gonna see what happens next round. And yeah, so stay tuned. We just got synchro overtake, guys. We just got it. So we don't need to play more than one. It's a good card by itself. Um, but we do need at least one more start of synchro. So we might have to get it online, but the deck is like there. Drytron's are good. This deck has got to be so much fun. Ah! <laughs> I can't wait. Tiebreakers suck, guys, so much. I ended that day with 3-1, but apparently so did a lot of other people. So a bunch of other people got um, a nine point record, and there was like, I think eight of us who went 3-1. So I got sixth place out of, I think, 12 people. Um, I wish it was around five, just so we could play again. But, you know, it happens. I will show you guys the deck at the end of the video. I got most of the starter support that I needed, most of it. I just need a few more cards, and then I'm done with it, and I can't wait. Um, but we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, Stardust Synchron doesn't go up any higher, so when I go to a different locals, I'll be able to get it, but you never know what can happen, right? Um, yeah, there's that. Uh, I think I talked about, yeah, I talked about my last match. Um, that was fun. Uh, sucks. It sucks so much that I went X1. If I was undefeated, then I could have gotten top four. But I was really looking forward to those OTS packs. We'll just have to come back. Maybe we'll enter the case tournament. I'm not sure. Their um, entry is two slices of pizza and a can of soda. I want packs. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens next time. But, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Peace. What's up, guys? Momojiri is here. And I am here with the last tournament report of the day. And to give you guys my current deck profile. Um, there are some changes I would make. I did make some misplays in game one of round one, and that sucks with made me lose because I got 0 2 by Prankets, and that sucks so much. And the rest of the day was pretty easy. I mean, it was really Dragoon beat for most of the games, and I felt pretty bad. Um, in game th in round three, I actually beat my opponent who was playing Numerons with an Imperial Order, and he didn't have any outs to it, and his entire deck is nothing but spell cards. So I felt like I just destroyed Sky Strikers. So yeah, I had fun today. And let's get into the deck profile. Okay, so of course we're playing three Diviners because, I mean, you can't play any less than three. This card is amazing. You want to see it all the time. It's absolutely great. Then we're playing triple Herald of Orange Light because you can never go wrong with Herald and only two Evas. And this is really good because there was a time that I drew into two Evas for some reason, and I don't understand why. And Eva 2 just seems like, you know, a really good number. Because the three, then they get, I don't want to see three in my opening hand. All right, then of course we have three Drytron Zetas. I was able to get one super. Uh, three Drytron Alphas. Three Gammas and we were able to get a super delta. Now, um, I, I added more gammas because I really want to see them. Some people also play beta, um, but I'm not so sure if I want to go that route. Uh, it's not really something I was thinking of doing, but I mean, if maybe if I have to, but these were pretty good numbers, even though I hardly saw them. And what's funny is that I never saw Drytron Nova in any of my games, not once. It was weird. Uh, for the hand traps, we only run two drawn lockbirds. Probably want to, you know, up the numbers later, but I have something else I want to show you guys that I'm playing. Um, of course, we have the red eyes package with uh, red eyes and dark magician. And then my spicy deck is three. Um, what is this card's name? Sour Arvis, right? Uh, Rebirth, The Ancient, and Ascended. It never came up, even though it's an amazing card. If your opponent wants to target me with anything, you can just negate it. But never came up. I think this card is only good in my Synchron deck because they can negate anything they want here. Um, except if they had like Ash Blossom or something. But yeah, it never came up, which sucked. 
Uh, then we also main deck one Chaos Max because we want to get rid of all your opponent's monsters. And uh, Drytron Mitiona Draco Nids, but I never played either of these two cards, ever. So, yeah, I might move Chaos Max either to the side deck or just take it out completely. Then we have one Herod of Ultimateness because Herod of Ultimateness is great. And what's funny is that I went first in a good chunk of my games. And when my opponent won the die roll, they gave me the option to go first. So, yeah. Then for the fairy uh, ritual package, we play Natasha, Ben 10, and Ida 10. Because my matchups were so, you know, favorable, uh, round two to four, I never had to play Natasha. So I might end up taking her out, but you know, you never know. I'm really conflicted on that. Then the card that we never saw even once, three Drytron Novas, which are really nice. Three Cyber Emergencies and only one Meteonis Drytron. I might actually, if I don't get a second one, I will... Um, Switch up ultimateness for perfection, so I have another ritual spell. Then we have two preparation of rites, one foolish burial, one red eyes fusion, and one called by the grave. So I would probably take out a few cards to add in more hand traps. Um, I take out Natasha and uh, Soarvis, so I can add one more droll and then three ghost spells because apparently things in the graveyard happen very often. So that's the main deck, 43 cards, sue me, I don't care. And the side deck will be two Ghost Bell. Most likely you'll put this in the main deck. Two Effect Veiler, I think I want to put Effect Veiler as well. I'm not so sure. Two Artifact Lancers so they can't um, uh, ally Justice Psycho Reader me, because that would suck. And then the last draw and Lockbird. We have two Twin Twisters. Uh, two Cosmic Cyclones, and two Dark Ruler No More. And then one Harpy's Feather Duster and an Imperial Order that came up that way. Because I was not losing to Numerons. All right, then extra deck. We have two Herald of Arc Lights and one FA Dawn Dragsters for the Synchros. We have one Elder Entity Natis. And one Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, MVP, won me so many games, and I feel kind of bad about winning those games. Then we have one Link Karibo, one Cross Sheep and Predator Plant. Never played Cross Sheep, probably. Um, should have, but I was too busy playing some other cards. Then we have one Nightmare Unicorn and one Apollosa, Bell of the Goddess. And I guess I never played Cross Sheet because I was too busy trying to go to Utopic Future and Utopic Draco Future because the card's great. Then we have two Mubetas and one Beatrice. Um, if I always... I don't know. I never actually go into Beatrice. I always go into Verte for Dragoons if I have two extra monsters on the field because I would always have another Eva or a Fairy Monster in my hand anyway. Um, to pitch with um, ultimateness, so wasn't really anything that I would keep. So I'd probably take out Cross Sheep. But yeah, guys, that is the deck. That's how I ran it. I was able to get mostly everything for my uh, Synchron deck. Um, I might be picking up some more cards later this week. Actually, I will be picking up more cards later this week, and I'm excited for that. Uh, so tell me how you feel about the deck, if there's any changes you would make. Um, I got 6th place at my locals, 3-1, so that was pretty fun. Top my first locals in a while, but you know, top 8 instead of top 4. My tiebreakers were the reason why I lost um, out of top 4, so that uh, I'm pretty upset at that. But yeah, so that is the deck, guys. Tell me how you feel, what I should change. If you want to see more videos like this, deck profiles, I'll have another Drytron deck profile coming up soon because I was able to get my other Chaos Spaces and it's going to be great, guys. Necros, Vandred, Herald, it's disgusting. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!